Biloxi, Mississippi at Keesler Air Force Base, and we're about to get on this C-130 with the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, otherwise known as the Hurricane Hunters. The only way really to understand what's happening inside of a hurricane is to fly right in, so we're going to tag along for the ride. It took two and a half hours to fly to the edge of the storm, and our plane arrived just as the sun was setting. For the next seven hours, under the cover of darkness, we would make four passes through Irma's eye, collecting data the whole time. Throughout the entire uh, flight, you've been dropping uh, something out of this tube. Can you tell me what you were actually doing with this tube this whole time? Sure. I've been dropping a drop on. The drop on instrument collects the uh, volatile humidity, the wind temperature, the wind speed, the wind direction. Once the drop on is released from here, the parachute uh, opens up and it kind of slows the descent of the drop on. We're at 10,000 feet, so sometimes it takes uh, about four to five minutes. It's collecting all that information and it's sending it right back up to us. This is one way that they can tell uh, which way that the storm is going, but also they can help issue evacuations. While we were in flight, the hurricane was upgraded to Category 5. Can you tell me a little bit about like how categories are measured? Like, what, what, is, what does that actually mean? Categories are measured based on wind speed. Sometimes people only focus on the category of the storm. And you can have other things, like if a storm is just big and maybe not strong, it can still cause a lot of storm surge. I think the problem with this particular storm is it's a combination of strong and large enough that it could have a large damage impact area. Why do we have to take a plane into a hurricane to collect data? We have satellites, but those are looking from above, so you might not see everything that's going on underneath. And, you know, hurricanes a lot of times will, will build from the surface upward. Most of the data is actually coming from the plane itself, so we have a nice kind of 3D image. How does Irma compare to other uh, hurricanes? This ride was actually pretty smooth, even though uh, it got rated up to a Category 5 as we were flying through it. So this was the, the most terrifying ride of my life in terms of turbulence, and you're telling me that was a relatively smooth ride. Hey, that one was really smooth. <laughs>